Okay, I admit, getting a Ryzen 17950X literally weeks before the big price drops was kind of annoying, but at the same time, you should have better luck and you should be able to get into the Ryzen 7000 game for cheaper than ever before. And combined with some great value of boards, such as the B650 Aorus Pro, which costs just $260, well, wow, you're all set for this new generation of Ryzen CPUs. Now this motherboard just so happens to cost the exact same as the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk, which I also recently covered on this channel. But why go for either of those when there are some more aggressively priced motherboards, such as Gigabyte's own B650 Aeros Elite, which costs even less, or even the M80X version of that board, which costs just $200. But coming back to this motherboard for a second, starting off with CPU power, here you have 16 plus 2 plus 1 power phases, rated at a maximum of 90 amps. Amps. A combo so strong, it's even on par with a lot of Aorus' own high-end X670E motherboards. And odds are, you're not gonna need more than this, unless you're a hardcore overclocker or you wanna push something like a 7950X to its limits, it's going to be more than enough. And it's definitely a nice step up compared to the 14 phases offered by the Tomahawk. Though strangely, unlike that board, here you only have an 8 pin plus 4 pin for CPU power, rather than 2 for 8 pins. But again, Odds are, it won't really matter to most people. Then moving down to PC expansion, here things are pretty standard, with a primary Gen 4 16x slot, a 1x slot below that, and... and... Wait, what? Wait, no... Th that can't be right. A 1x slot? On the Gigabyte motherboard? But I thought they went for a long and painful divorce or something. I mean, Gigabyte have made it a quest to not put 1x slots on any of the motherboards for the past few generations, and now they just put one on the mid-range board? Uh, Gigabyte, you sure do move in mysterious ways. And it puts me in a very weird position. Not only has me complaining about Gigabyte boards not having 1x slots anymore pretty much become a trademark of a company, but at the same time it is technically a downgrade from the full physical 16x slot of the more budget Aorus Elite. But the thing is that no psychopath would put and another 16x card so close to the graphics card, and we can all agree that a 1x card in a 1x slot looks much better than a 1x card in a 16x slot. So in a weird convoluted way, it is an upgrade. And again, more than anything, it just makes me furious that for whatever reason, Gigabyte are so picky about adding these 1x slots into the motherboards. Okay, I think that shock is wearing off, so we can continue. Apart from that, you also have an additional physical 16x slot below that as standard, and on top of that, three M.2 slots, with one of them being rated at Gen 5, and all of them come with their own heatsinks. So while definitely less than the four M.2 slots found on some more high-end B650 and B650E motherboards, it should still be more than enough for anyone who's even in the market for a B650 board. However, if you do need more storage than that, you will be limited in options. Seeing how like most current gen gigabyte motherboards, for some reason, they only come with four SATA free connectors, even when six has become pretty much a standard. I mean, hey, some manufacturers are even fitting in six on an M80X board, so there's no excuse of there being just four on a full size ATX one. Anyway, moving to the rear IO, it's about what you expect from gigabyte both amazing and infuriating. You have a whopping 11 USB Type-A ports, the same as on most other Gigabyte motherboards this generation, with four of them being USB Gen 2. Add to that USB Type-C, 2.5 gig Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6C, HDMI... Okay, Gigabyte, they've done it again. I know I said it before, but Gigabyte's plan for where to put integrated display port and where to not put it has pretty much been decided at a drunk after work meeting because motherboards that are cheaper and more budget have it such as the B650 Eros Elite while this quote unquote mid range board doesn't. So yeah, that's Gigabyte logic for you. Though I also assume those kind of errors are kind of easy to overlook when you have Chinese fighter jets flying over your head waiting to strike at any second. So. I guess I have to forgive them. Another disappointing part is the lackluster audio as always, with just three audio ports at the back, two 3.5mm audio jacks and optical speediff, running off the ALC 1220VB codec. So while it is nice that we're getting optical audio on here compared to cheaper Elite model, but it's still not good when we have half the audio options we had literally decades ago. But whatever, at the end of the day, this is a Gigabyte mover board that has a 1x slot. 
just buy it. Trust me, this isn't going to happen again in a thousand years. But apart from that, it is some pretty tough competition to the identically priced Tomahawk motherboard from MSI. And if you want to learn more about that, then that video is going to be up in the iCards. But at the same time, it doesn't do enough different for many people to be worth the upgrade from the much, much cheaper B650 motherboards that Gigabyte and other manufacturers have on offer. So unless you just really, really need that optical audio or that one slot, I'd tread with caution, and otherwise I'd just go for something much cheaper. But if you want to buy it regardless, make sure to use our Amazon links down in the video description below. And while you're still here, if you want to help support the tech journalism we do here, then make sure to check out our Patreon, because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Justin Rage, Elif Ronyak, Marlis Roker, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down you can find our merch store if you can get some awesome geeky merch for Christmas. And then there's also our Discord server and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember, subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.